Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you my everyday makeup organization and storage. I've had this organization contraption for a while, and don't worry this is not sponsored, they didn't send this to me. I just like it so much and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is the top of the organizer and this holds so much stuff. I have Estee Lauder, um, the e.l.f. primer is amazing, I have some Mali eyeliners that I store up here, the Garnier under eye concealer, um, I have a lot, I have a lot of lip products, I just noticed that, that Dream Lumi concealer, more lip stuff, jeez I have a lot, I didn't even realize it, I think that's Joan Rivers, I like that stuff, some Crest lipstick, um, Sila, I have the Glamouflage from Hard Candy, more Estee Lauder stuff, I got a lot of gifts from Estee Lauder, let me tell you, um, that Laura Geller concealer is really good, some Revlon lipsticks, more with the lip stuff. That Mally concealer is awesome. I love that. Then I have the Necessity chapstick and the Revlon lip butter. More lipstick. Then the Great Lash mascara. Love that. I love wearing the royal blue version. Call me heavy. I don't care. And then the clear mascara I use for my eyebrows. And then the Age Rewind concealer. I think it's from Maybelline. That's good stuff. The e.l.f. Lipsticks, I like those and they're only a dollar. The e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator is really nice. And then the Mally Mascara, it's okay. I've tried it a couple times. I like it. It's fine. And then the dollar eyelash curler and then my eyebrow pencil. Oh my gosh, more lip stuff. That's from Philosophy and Tarte and that's from e.l.f. I just keep it on the side. It stays really nice right there. And then the e.l.f. eyeliners, they're liquid eyeliners. I love those. I have two because I'm just running out of one. I love that I use that every day. So onto the bottom portion of the organizer. This is really nice because it turns and you can sit in one spot and you don't have to move to get your other makeup. These are my blushes. Um, that first one is from Clinique. That's from e.l.f. the Bake Blush. And those are the two e.l.f.s. I dropped it. What's new? That is from Laura Geller, it's nice, and then this is Tarte, it's in the shade Tickled, it's cool. I've had that for a while, it lasts so long. Then the powder area, I have the Dream Matte Powder, it's pretty nice, and then the two other powderish products from e.l.f., this is a nice um, bronzer, I really like that, and then the other one is a cream. Then I have the Bare Minerals Powder, Laura Geller Powder, uh, CoverGirl powder and then more bare minerals. I've gotten a lot of this stuff from my family as gifts, so that's why I kind of have a lot of stuff like that. Then these I absolutely love, the bare minerals eyeshadows. They're a pain to use because they're so messy, but let me tell you, they look the best on your eye and they last the longest. They're a pain to use, but they're the best. I like those a lot. Then the next section, I have my little small eyeshadow palette thingy. That's the first one's from Stila and CoverGirl. And then two more CoverGirl, I like CoverGirl. And then this CoverGirl one, 50% off, yes. And then this Tarte one that I got as a gift, it's pretty nice. And then the next section, I have a high beam. I got a gift card from Sephora. I just decided to get high beam. It's nothing great. It's whatever. And then sample size of Tarte and this foundation I love from CoverGirl. It's the best foundation I've ever used. And then this Tarte foundation. And then I have the Garnier Fructis um, BB powder, BB cream I mean. Sorry. And then the this BB cream and I got it on eBay because I wanted to try it. And then this next section, I just have prescription skin stuff and then this refining mask from Proactive. Oh my gosh, this is the best stuff for treating your skin. And then the green tea moisturizer is really good too. I really recommend those. I don't use a Proactive line, I just use those too. Then this section that goes all the way through the bottom is really nice. It holds big bulky palettes like this Mally palette that I really like. It's a nude palette. Pretty, pretty cool. I like it. And then I have three of the Maybelline tattoos all in different colors. Then this e.l.f. palette is probably five bucks. It's pretty nice neutral palette. I use it sometimes. It's really nice. I'm sorry. That looks really dirty. I'm so sorry. Makeup, it's messy and powdery. And then this 
CoverGirl foundation, it's whatever. And then the whipped cream foundation from Revlon. I have a lot of foundations because my skin changes a lot. And then this e.l.f. setting spray. Oh my gosh, get your hands on some of this. It works so well. And then the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Again, I have a lot of foundations because my skin changes a lot. I have oily skin and then the next day I have dry skin. So I like to mix foundations depending on how my skin feels. Then lastly, this palette from Wet n Wild. It's a big bunch of pinks and purples. I like that sometimes. So that is basically how I store my makeup for everyday use. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Click here for some makeup DIYs. I have a makeup organization caddy video and a DIY eyeshadow primer that's really awesome and I really enjoy using that. Always let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you next time.